five minute Fridays. I am just about to start my five minute workout for today. All I'm using today is a mat and one dumbbell, but if you don't have a dumbbell, that's fine. You can still do this workout right along with me. Don't go anywhere because I will be providing equipment free modifications for you. There are timestamps in the description box down below the video. So if you would prefer to skip straight ahead to the workout, you can use the chapter markers to do that. If you need to see the exercises demonstrated and explained before we begin, let's go ahead and get into that right now. There are just three exercises. So first, let me start by telling you that my dumbbell weighs 10 pounds and that is a good weight for me. However, you may need to use something lighter or heavier. That is going to depend on your strength, on your level of fitness, what you have available to you, and how hard you're looking to push yourself today. So please consider all of those factors when choosing your weight and make the decision that is best for you. If you don't have a dumbbell, but you still want to add weight to the exercises, look for household items that will work. So you can grab a shampoo bottle or a water bottle. You can fill it with water or uncooked rice, for example. You can even just grab a can of soup out of the pantry. So get creative and use what you've got. And if you have absolutely nothing around the house that's going to work for weight, or you just don't want to add weight to the workout, that's fine. You can modify the exercises. I'm going to demonstrate the exercises the way I will be doing them first with my dumbbell and then I will give you an equipment-free modification for each exercise. Um, a kettlebell will also work great. So if you don't have a dumbbell, but you do have a kettlebell, that's another great substitution. Okay, so for our first exercise, you're gonna to wanna to come down onto your mat, on your back, bend your knees, and now let your knees drop to one side. So my knees are towards you. I've dropped them to the side that's facing you. I'm gonna take my hand on that same side and just rest them on top of my leg right here. Now with the opposite hand, I'm going to take my dumbbell and start with my dumbbell up by the shoulder on the same side, the shoulder that's farthest from my knees. Now I'm going to press the dumbbell up overhead like this. And as I do that, I'm going to lift my upper body just slightly and I'm looking down, away from the dumbbell, looking down at my mat and then reverse the movement. So lower the upper body and lower the dumbbell back down to your shoulder, okay? So it's an overhead press as you twist, feel that twist in your obliques, and then twist back as you bring the dumbbell back down to your shoulder. Press the dumbbell up overhead and twist, and then reverse the movement. So of course, if you don't have a dumbbell, you can do that with a kettlebell or a water bottle or a shampoo bottle or a can of soup. If you need an equipment-free substitution, here's what you can do. Come down onto your mat on your back, extend both arms out to the side, bend the knees, and then you can just drop your knees to the side. Now use your obliques to bring the knees back up and return to the center. You can stay on the same side for the entire work interval if you want, or you can alternate sides. So now you can drop your knees to the other side, Try your best to keep your both of your shoulders on the mat the whole time if you can. So press those shoulders into the mat, engage the obliques, and bring the knees back to the center. So you can alternate sides with each rep if you want, or you can stay on the same side. So for the entire work interval, you can lower your knees to this side. Um, because I'm going to be staying on the same side for my entire work interval because we're gonna flip over and do the other side later in the workout. So you can stay on the same side for the whole work interval like I'm doing if you want, and then just remember to switch sides when we flip over later in the workout, or you can alternate sides um, with each rep, that's up to you. The next exercise is side crunches. So let me actually show you your equipment-free modification first, since my dumbbell is over there and I'm already down here on my mat. So bend your knees. You're gonna come down onto your side on the mat. Bend that bottom arm so that the forearm is in front of you for support. And then you're going to come down and take your top hand and put it behind your head. Now from here, you're going to do a side crunch. So that means you're going to lift the knees and lift the elbow to meet the knees in the middle like this. Now from this position, you're going to drop the knees and tap them to the mat. And then again, use those obliques to bring them back up, touch the elbow, and then lower. Okay, so crunch, drop the knees, crunch, and lower. Lift, tap, lift, and lower. 
If dropping the knees and tapping them to the mat is too much, you can just do side crunches like this. That is totally up to you. Any kind of ab exercise you want to do really is fine. I'm going to be doing that exact same thing while holding on to my dumbbell. So all I'm going to do is have my dumbbell up here by my shoulder the entire time. So again, my knees are bent, I'm on my side. My bottom arm is on the mat for support. I have my top elbow bent and my dumbbell is up here um, on my top shoulder. I'm going to bend the knees and lift the knees up as I lift my torso towards the knees. Now I'm gonna drop the knees and tap them to the mat, lift the knees back up and lower. So crunch, drop the knees, lift and lower. Crunch, tap and lower. The next exercise is just up downs. I'll be adding an overhead press, but if you need an equipment free modification, um, all you're gonna do is start down here kneeling on your mat. You're going to take one leg and bring the foot forward and then the other foot follows and you're going to stand. Now you're gonna reverse the movement. So the foot that was last coming up will be the foot that's first to go down and then the other foot follows and you'll return to your starting position. Again, I'm going to be staying on the same leg the entire time. So with each rep, I'm going to initiate the movement with this leg. So this leg comes forward and then the other leg follows. And then on the way down, I'm reversing the movement. So now this leg will initiate the movement and this leg will follow. So there's your equipment free uh, modification. If you would like to add the overhead press, then grab your weight whether that's a kettlebell or a dumbbell or a water bottle or shampoo bottle, um, as long as you can find something that you're able to maintain a secure grip on, you're not gonna drop it and hurt yourself and it's not too heavy for you. Remember, any number of household items will work. So whatever you're using for weight, you're gonna start with your weight up by your shoulder. The side the weight is on is the, is the leg that's going to initiate the movement coming up. So my weight is on this side, that means with this leg, I'm going to step forward and then the other leg follows. Once I get to the top of the movement, I'm going to press the weight up overhead. Now, coming down, remember that you're reversing the movement. So the way to remember that is that the side the weight is on, you're never going to be in a position where it's the opposite leg that's forward. So this is the side my weight is on, that means that the opposite leg will never be forward. So as I'm coming up, I'm going to start with, the, uh, initiate the movement with this leg. So this is the side the weight is on, this is the leg that's forward. Then I'll come up to my standing position, press the weight up overhead. Now, to um, return to my starting position, again, I'm going to reverse the movement. So it's the opposite leg that initiates the movement this time so that when I get down to this position, again, the leg that's forward is the leg that's on the same side as my dumbbell, okay? So, I'm gonna put it together a little bit faster. The side the weight is on is going to step forward, other leg follows, press the weight up overhead, now bend the elbow and bring the weight back down to the shoulder, and now initiating the movement with the opposite leg, knee, knee, okay? So, foot, foot, Press, lower, knee, knee, up, up, press, down, and down. All right, again, I will be staying on one side for the entire work interval. With the next work interval, I will switch sides. So that's it, that's all three exercises, including your equipment-free substitutions. Now here's the format. My timer is set for 10 second rest intervals, 40 second work intervals times six rounds. There are three different exercises, so we are going to be doing each exercise once on each side. So I'm going to start down on my side on the mat. I'm going to start with that overhead press. Then with my next work interval, I'm going to stay on the same side and I'm going to do my side crunches with the knee drop. With my next work interval, I'm going to do my up downs on one side and then we're going to just kind of continue in that direction. So I'll switch legs with interval number four 
and then interval number five, I'll be on the opposite side from the side I started on. So I'll be down here on the mat on this side. I'll do my side crunches with the knee drop and then I'll finish with the same exercise we started with on the other side, which is our overhead press with an oblique twist. Please remember that I always take the time to type out the instructions in the description box down below the video and you're going to watch me do it right now. So watch me do it read the instructions, but then of course, as always, if anything is unclear with the format, how all of the exercises fit together, if you have any questions or any doubts about how to do the exercises with the correct form, or if you need any further help with equipment-free substitutions or beginner modifications, I'm right here, so please just ask. It's really important that you understand what we're doing and that you understand how to do the exercises correctly before you begin the workout so that you reduce your risk of injury and also just so that you make sure you're getting the maximum benefit out of each exercise. It is also extremely important to me that all of my workouts are always accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them with me and I'm always here to help facilitate that. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or if you need help. If you understand what you're doing and you're ready to go ahead and start the workout, grab an exercise mat or a yoga mat, or a towel maybe, grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell. If not, maybe a household item like a can of soup, or a water bottle, or a shampoo bottle filled with water or uncooked rice, for example. If you want to add weight to the workout, remember that you also have your equipment-free substitutions if you prefer. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up, and when you're ready, let's get started. So my timer is set for 10 second rest intervals, 40 second work intervals times six rounds. Remember, we always start with our rest interval so that we have a few seconds to get ready and we don't lose anything off of our first work interval. So as soon as you're ready, here we go. Starting my timer in three, two, one. So this is our 10 second rest interval to get ready. Come down onto your mat on your back. Weight by the shoulder, drop the knees to one side. And now here we go, we're just pressing the weight up overhead and twisting, feeling those obliques as you lift your shoulder blade up off the mat and twist. So at the top of the movement, you're looking down at your mat and then use those obliques to twist back. And as you lower your weight back down to your shoulder, both of your shoulder blades are coming back down onto the mat. Okay, 10 seconds to rest. We're staying on the same side. Now we're going to do our weighted side crunch. So the weight is optional. Knees are bent, crunch, tap the knees down and lower. Crunch, tap the knees down to the mat, and lower. So you can eliminate the added weight if you want, and you can eliminate the little knee drop as well. That's totally up to you. the other leg. So this is the side the dumbbells on. 
that means that this leg is always in front when we're in this position. So this leg initiates the movement on the way up. The opposite leg initiates the movement on the way down. So step one foot forward, the other foot follows, then press the weight up overhead, bring the weight back down to the shoulder, and return to your starting position. Okay, now we're going to go back to side crunches. So other side, starting with the weight up by the shoulder, crunch, drop the knees down to the mat, and lower. Crunch, lower the knees. Adding weight to this exercise increases the difficulty quite a bit. So just remember that you always have the option of eliminating the added weight. This is our final exercise, so drop the knees to one side. Starting with the weight on the opposite shoulder, pressing the weight up overhead, and as you do that, you're lifting your shoulder blades up off the mat and twisting to look down at the mat. Then reverse the movement, engaging those obliques on the way down, making sure the movement is slow and under control. And that's it. That's our five minutes. We are not quite finished yet. No workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left to go. But first, it is time for the McFlurry Minute. I am going to reset my timer to count down 60 seconds for me. I'm going to jump rope for 60 seconds, completing as many revolutions with my rope as I can. And if I can make it through the entire 60 second work interval without tripping over my jump rope, everybody wins a free McFlurry. So give me just a minute to reset my timer. I will be right back. All right, my timer has been reset. Rudebecca is up today. Rudebecca is my adorable black jump rope with the little white skulls on the handles. And for those of you who have asked me where I get my jump ropes, I will leave a link and a coupon code in the description box down below the video. So click on the link and use coupon code RUDEBECCA to save an additional 10%. We have a streak going of four successful McFlurry minutes in a row. We are trying to make it five in a row today. So we are starting as always with a 10 second rest interval. And if I can string together 60 seconds without tripping over my jump rope, we all get to eat ice cream for lunch. Here we go.
especially on a hot summer day. Another successful McFlurry minute. That is five in a row. That means we are one third of the way to setting a new record, but let me not get ahead of myself. We have to take it one day at a time. So today I was successful and that means today we all get to eat ice cream for lunch on me and Rebecca. You're welcome. So now we have just one rep left to go. Let's do our bonus burpee together and then the workout will be officially complete when you're ready. Final rep of the day, here we go. The workout is now officially complete. I thought this was a fun little workout. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did this little five minute workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who's been working out with me lately. And even if you're not doing the workouts with me, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your wonderful and supportive and engaging comments. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And of course, a great big thank you to those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for years. Please know that I appreciate you all so very much. One final reminder that if anything is unclear with the format, if you have any doubts about how to do the exercises we were doing today with the correct form, or if you need any further help with equipment-free substitutions or beginner modifications, please just ask. I am right here to help. If you like these five-minute workouts and you would like to see more of them, please remember that I have an entire playlist of five-minute workouts on my channel. I will link it right there. Plus, we will be continuing to do these five-minute Fridays for the foreseeable future. So I will be continuing to bring you at least one new five-minute workout each week for the foreseeable future. That is going to do it for today, and I will see you all next time. Bye.